Uh, all right, welcome back, everyone. So, in this session, uh, I will just take us through some key information uh, that you would need as students about APC Bible College. So, initially, we will go over these, uh, go over this information. Uh, after which, you know, we will have the time open to ask more questions. We already have some questions in chat, and I encourage uh, our online students to continue posting your questions on uh, the chat, please. Uh, our in-person students as well, you know, if you have any questions, feel free. You can clarify. Our faculty is here, and uh, we'll be more than happy to answer them for, uh, for you. So this week, as I've stated earlier, is uh, the orientation week. Uh, please uh, look through the schedule to note which sessions happen uh, every hour of uh, the, the orientation week. Uh, we will have the 9 a.m. to 12 noon sessions available for our online students. The recordings will be available for our Elon students. Uh, and in the afternoon, we have an extended orientation for our on-campus students. Uh, we have stated that uh, this semester, we will have two days when uh, there will be no classes. So the announcement has already been made. Uh, this would be. Uh, August the 15th and October the 2nd, which are Indian uh, national holidays. Now, let me uh, take us through the guidelines. The guidelines have been uh, given to each one of us, so you can um, look at it. But I'm going to go over it, you know, uh, sort of summarizing the important information. So uh, I may skip some sections. So just want to thank all of you first of all for choosing all people's church uh, for your place of study uh, we are committed to provide spirit-filled anointed hands-on training and equipping for ministry uh, in the supernatural power of the holy spirit and uh, we also uh, are committed to being doctrinally sound uh, and uh, having content that is intellectually stimulating. Um, and uh, through these courses, we trust that not only will each of us be equipped for better ministry, uh, but our relationship with the Lord you know, will be strengthened. So uh, really glad that you, know, you are here uh, to learn. And uh, we believe that this will also uh, help each one of us to really discover God's purpose uh, for our lives and fulfill it. Sure. Uh, we have three programs that we offer. We have uh, the Certificate in Theology and Christian Ministry, which is a one-year program. Uh, we have a Diploma in Theology and Christian Ministry, which would be a two-year uh, program, and Bachelor of Theology and Christian Ministry, which is a three-year program. So we follow the semester system, uh, and thus for each of these one year that you complete, you would need to finish two semesters. And in each semesters, semester, there are eight courses that you would need to complete. So if you're going to aim for a certificate in theology and Christian ministry, you would have to do two semesters. You will have to do a fall semester and a spring semester. In each semester, there will be eight courses. So only if you complete all the eight courses would you have finished or completed that uh, that uh, semester. And then similarly, you'll have to complete the next semester as well. So that way you complete one year certificate. And uh, if you want to continue into the diploma course, then you have to do another year of two more semesters. And uh, uh, in this manner, if you want to do a bachelor's, you will have to complete three years. Okay, so a total of six semesters. So that's how it works. So we follow the semester system here. Uh, generally, like the fall semester is from August 
to November. December will be a break. Um, so particularly the on-campus students, you know, you get that opportunity to go back home, uh, visit your family, and also serve in your own uh, local churches. Uh, and the spring semester is from January to April. Uh, after April is the longer break. So from, uh, from May to July, you will have a three-month break. And again, you can go back home, serve in your own local churches, and uh, you know, be a, a blessing there. Now, attendance for the on-campus students, uh, we, we uh, start at 9 a.m., we will talk about the schedule for the uh, on-campus students a little later on. So I'll uh, try to uh, talk more about the on-campus uh, online guidelines here. So for the online students, uh, you would need to join the same classes. That is from 9 a.m. to 12 noon. There will be three sessions. Uh, and uh, each one will be for 50 minutes. There will be a 10-minute break you know, after uh, each session. So that's how it works. You can also look at the timetable and that will uh, give you an idea. 85% attendance uh, is a requirement for every student to complete the course successfully. So whether you are connecting online or on a campus, you have to ensure that uh, there's at least 85% you know, attendance. Um, so regarding the fee, the fee information is already given uh, on the website, but I'll just share it once again for our benefit here. So those who are taking the e-learn, um, that is uh, a free, uh, e-learn option is free. However, if we are joining uh, online, then the course fee is uh, 6000 If you're taking up the entire semester and uh, all the eight courses, the fee would be 6000 uh, and even for the uh, on-campus students, the fee is 6,000 rupees, for, uh, which is the tuition fee. But since on-campus camp students are joining us here, the hostel fee will also be applicable for uh, the on-campus campus students. So for each semester, it is 10,000, the hostel fee. Okay? So uh, then a total of 16,000 uh, if you are joining us here. So the tuition fee, we request that it be paid in full before the last date. And the payment details uh, have also been included in, in the guidelines. You can follow the same. Once you've made the payment, uh, please notify us. There are a, a couple of email addresses given there. So um, accounts at APC biblecollege.org, admin at apcbiblecollege.org, where uh, you, you would need to uh, inform us, give us the information required there. Okay, so enrollment, uh, I know that uh, all of you have applied and uh, uh, you've also, like especially for the on-campus students, you've received a letter of acceptance. So that is how you uh, enroll for, uh, uh, for the courses here, the online students uh, you have enrolled, uh, and uh, you would also need to use the um, the class codes to join the Google Classroom. So you know we uh, we will answer your questions. I'm sure you'll have questions regarding that, but we will answer those questions uh, during our time of discussion today. Okay, so uh, in all of our courses, we will have. Uh, a need to put in additional time to study, to research, and uh, there will be assignments, assessments given by our faculty. Uh, and you know, for each of these assignments, you will need to spend time you know, to do your homework. So that is also a part of the courses. And we request you to put in that time and effort uh, while you are learning with us. Uh, examinations are there we will be marking you and there is also a great system uh, which we have uh, detailed here in the guidelines and we would want you to uh, score you know at least like a 35 percent for uh, a pass percentage so which means that you uh, along with your attendance will have to pay attention in class be able to do the assignments and score marks 
Okay, so uh, you you would need to put in that kind of uh, work uh, to clear these subjects. So uh, remember that there will be assignments, assessments, and um, uh, we need to be working towards the towards uh, clearing them or passing in these subjects. So there are some commonly asked questions by students. Uh, so one question is, can I do some courses on campus and some online and via e-learning? So the answer is yes. We can choose some courses uh, on, on campus, some online and some through e-learn. But we request that whichever mode you choose for a particular course, that you complete it in that mode, you know, instead of switching. Uh, say, for example, I join prayer and intercession uh, online, and then I'm suddenly wanting to switch to e-learn in between. Uh, we, we would say that, you know, uh, that wouldn't be the, the best way of doing it. So kindly continue in the mode that you have picked for that particular course. Okay, so that's how it would work. Uh, the second question is, can I take courses in any order or should I follow the order specified by the college? So we strongly recommend that you follow the order, uh, uh, you know, given by the college, the one that, you know, students here on campus are following uh, because you know, there's there'll be a, a better flow. However, you know, if you have joined midway you know, and you've, you've joined uh, in a, a certain semester and then you know, you're only able to do a, a few courses in that semester, then we just leave it to your discretion. But the way that we recommend is that you follow the uh, order that in a given semester, for example, now we have the fall semester, you do all the courses and then you continue to the spring semester and um, the next set of courses for your program, you continue with them. So uh, that would be the right way. Uh, and uh, yeah, we can always take up questions later on if, if you have follow-up questions to what I just said. Uh, another question here is, are the requirements to pass a course the same in all three learning options? So the requirement would be that you know you score uh, at least you know 35 percent to pass that course and attendance also remains the same now the manner in which the assessments are set up that will be different for uh, our um, you know e-learn uh, courses and our online courses and it could be different even for our uh, on-campus students here so uh, that again is up to the lecturer or the instructor, the way they want to uh, test your uh, knowledge, they are free to do that. So the assessments will look very different, but the requirement to clear the course, that remains the same. Your 85% attendance and your uh, you know 35% minimum to pass the course. Okay, so the next question is, can I take an e-learning course multiple times or again in the future as a refresher. So yes, you are most welcome to do that. You can do the same subject again and again and again if you would like to uh, just refresh yourself in that theme. Uh, and you know, every, every course that we teach here, like year to years, uh, the content differs. So uh, when the, the, the instructor is delivering the content, it is obviously updated, right? So each year. So uh, there'll be new revelation uh, and uh, you know, God would lead a certain way. So we encourage our students to keep coming back to the same course again and again and refreshing themselves. So yes, of course, you can do courses um, as a refresher. Do you offer transfer credit for completing a certificate program? So uh, as we've shared, we have our, um, we are offering three degrees here. Uh, and for, uh, for us to transfer credits, 
right? Uh, and uh, a student from our institution to be able to join a, a different institution, uh, it's totally up to the decision of the other institution. So, you know, if they are willing to recognize, uh, recognize our uh, degree or you know our uh, certificate here and then they accept you that's up to them but you know there's no there, there's no there's nothing like you know um, um, what can we say that we, we cannot assure that a different institution will accept okay the, the marks that you score here or the courses that you've completed if they are going to recognize that's totally up to them uh, then the next question here is Will Christian organizations offer employment based on course or certificate program from APC Bible College? So um, we would again say that it depends on various organizations and their decision. So we uh, definitely are equipping our students to be effective uh, and fruitful. So you, when we approach, when students approach various agencies and organizations, they would ne need to make that decision. So, uh, you know, we will not be able to uh, say that, yes, of course, you know, you, they will accept you or anything like that. Uh, so that is the answer for that question. And uh, we have a few more sections here, one about personal prayer and devotion, where we are saying that while APC Bible College courses are helpful for us to learn more about God, each one of us will be encouraged to have our own personal prayer and devotion. Okay, so that personally, we are in step with God, with what God wants us to do. So uh, we do place an emphasis on that. And, uh, uh, you know, we, we here, especially on campus, uh, later on when we have our uh, session where I take the students through the guidelines, you will see that we, we encourage you to develop uh, that personal, uh, you know, uh, time with the Lord and a personal devotion so that you can be a, a strong child of God. So coming to uh, the section uh, 11 here, which is about the Bible college curriculum, all the courses for each of the years have been enlisted. So you have 16 uh, uh, subjects of the first year that have been listed out, 16 of the second year and 16 of the third year. So when uh, especially the online students are enrolling, uh, uh, joining the Google, uh, you know, classroom and the e-learning students are enrolling. Please make sure if you're working towards a degree or certificate that you have enrolled into all these courses. If there are questions uh, you uh, would like to inquire about something, then please reach out to us. Our um, emails, email IDs are given here. Uh, you may write to admin at apcbiblecollege.org uh, and we will respond anything related to uh, fee payment uh, finances you may please write to accounts at apcbiblecollege.org so lifestyle and living we um, expect our students to live in a manner that will glorify God and that is what you know we are uh, working towards even through our teaching and our training here at uh, Bible College and we would really want um, to serve our students and make sure that they are built up in every way uh, in terms not just their knowledge but uh, their character their commitment and uh, you know their attitudes and everything uh, such that it glorifies god okay so i think i have uh, gone through all the key points here uh, for those of us who are here with us on campus we you will be joining us at our uh, you know a apc uh, sunday services um, and those who are online and you know you're studying from your own uh, country, your own region, we encourage you to be involved in your local church and uh, to continue to serve there, uh, even during the time of your study. So uh, that is, is something that you know, we encourage all our students to 
to. So right now, I will open up for questions. OK, there are already some questions here in the chat. OK, Rosalind uh, is asking, I could connect to this class in first attempt. So should I join again with this new codes? And uh, Pastor Ashish has answered, the class codes have been reset. So you would need to please use the new class codes. Okay, uh, so uh, apologies for the change. So I hope uh, your question is answered, Rosalind. Uh, Earlier, in the previous session, there were, there were two uh, uh, questions regarding the class codes and students not being able to join uh, you know, certain uh, classes. Uh, one was uh, John for third year, and the second one was Old Testament survey. We have reset the class codes, and it will be sent across to you. You may please use the new class codes to connect to Google Classroom. OK. All right. So uh, Lyndon, uh, you've shared here, uh, I've noticed that three of my papers from my second year course are still not great. Daniel Oliver is first year. The, the last one, you have. Oh, sorry, I missed that question. So after Rosalind, Daniel had a question. He says, for the first year course, August to November, when and how will the exams be conducted? So uh, Daniel, as I shared, on each of the platforms, the instructors will post assessments, assignments uh, pertaining to that particular course. So you will find it, if you're an online student, you'll find it on Google Classroom. They'll post the assignment with um, you know, the deadline, and you have to do your assignments there. And similarly, eLearn, the assignments will be posted there, and you'll have to complete it on eLearn. Okay, I, I hope uh, that has answered your question. If not, please feel free to ask a follow-up question. And how will the exams be conducted? Uh, it's, it's all, all online. Even for our on-campus on students, uh, the way you have to submit your assignments is online. OK, so you'll have to join Google Classroom. The assignments will be posted there. You finish, you complete your assignments and submit. So that's how it's going to work. All right. Um, moving on to Lyndon's question. So Lyndon uh, is saying three of my papers from my second year courses are still not graded, although the subjects are submitted much before respective due dates. So Lyndon, we'll have to look into this uh, if there has been um, you know, any particular issue. So give us some time. We'll just uh, look into this and uh, respond to you. So sorry about that. You haven't received the grades for those uh, assignments. And coming back to Daniel here, he says, you've mentioned enroll. How can we make sure that we have enrolled in all eight subjects. OK, so uh, Daniel, depending on you know, which platform you're choosing, if you're choosing eLearn, then you will have to check with the course listing. Okay? If you're uh, uh, planning to do all eight subjects in a semester, you would need to go look at the class codes. Okay? And there is a button called Enroll. So you enroll into it. Once it is successful, uh, you know, it, it'll, it'll take you to the space where all the content for that course is made available. So that's how you know that your enrolling uh, into that particular course has been successful on eLearn. Similarly, for Google Classroom, uh, we have given out class codes. So when you enter the class code, you will come to 
that course on Google Classroom and all the content for that particular course will be made available uh, in that section. So that's how you know that, okay, you know, it's been successful. I have already joined the uh, course. So please check if you are unable to um, enter in and access the material, please let us know. We'll see if there's any issue and we'll try to rectify it for you. Okay. Yeah, so Nina John uh, is asking, just wanted to clarify about payment in connection with the fresh semester. Uh, so yes, Nina, depending on the courses that you would be taking, um, you can make the payment online. The online details are provided. Now, if you're taking fewer courses, uh, for each course, right, separate course, we charge a thousand rupees on online. So then for the select courses, you can make the, the corresponding payment. Uh, is there anything else that you wanted to know? I hope I'm giving you the answer to the question correctly. If there's anything else, please let us know, Nina. Okay, Serene, uh, can I please have, yes. So Serene, the letter has already been sent to you. Uh, if you could uh, please check the email with which you registered, uh, the letter has been sent. Okay, regarding uh, the question about enrolling, uh, Pastor shared for Google Classroom, please go to classes menu and you will see, you will see all courses. Oh, sorry. Uh, you will see the list of courses you have enrolled. Okay, so that's, that's right. So you, once you're enrolled, you'll see the list of the courses that you're enrolled into and that can also help you as a check. Okay, Andrew is asking, Till the orientation week completes, we need to join to the same link because I was confused with the codes one. Yeah, you're right, uh, Andrew. All the orientation sessions will happen on the main Audi. So this is the place and the same uh, link is what you need to connect with. Okay, Jennifer is asking, I have got the email schedule but didn't get the acceptance email as mentioned while submitting the application. Uh, all right, Jennifer, we'll, we'll look into this. Okay, uh, if, yeah, we'll look into this and we'll get back to you, Jennifer. Okay, Serene uh, is saying we tried using the email letter uh, but the embassy requires a formal letter. Sure. So, uh, yeah, we'll work that out for you, Serene. So we can do that. We can send you uh, a letter on a letterhead uh, with an authorized signature. So I'll, I'll contact you to, um, you know, to really understand your need better and hand you that let give you that letter. Okay, sure. Okay. Uh, Shani Chapman has a question. Uh, Shani, please go ahead. You can unmute and ask, please. Can you hear me? Yes, we okay. can hear you. Um, so last fall, I took the identity and Christ and faith class for um, all 2022. However, I never received um, certificates for those classes. So I want to know how can I get the certificates and also how do I obtain the grades for the um, for those classes? Uh, okay, Shani, I couldn't hear you too well. If you don't mind, if you could please uh, repeat your question, that would be helpful. Okay. Um, last fall, fall 2022, mm -hmm. can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. I took the Identity in Christ and Faith class. However, I never received certificates for those classes. I was kind of confused on how to get that, and I didn't obtain, so I want to know how can I obtain certificates for those classes, and how do I obtain the grades for those classes? Okay, so you want a certificate 
and the, the, the grades for the classes that you've already completed. Am I yes. right? Yes. All right. Online. Mark sheets for her. Yes. Okay. So Shani, we'll we'll uh, need to email you the the mark sheets, and we'll do that. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. So uh, thank you. Please, yeah. Thank you. Please confirm like, if you use the same email ID, uh, and that will be helpful for us to, you know. So should I just e books. so should I just email the Bible College? No, the email address that you use to enroll uh -huh. uh, in fall of 2022. Uh -huh. Yeah. So if you so use the same. Okay. Yes. Yes, uh, Shani. So uh, could you please uh, email us your request to admin at apcbiblecollege.org and then oh. we can look into this. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Lots of uh, hands raised here so we'll take up the question one by one yes warren please go ahead hi good morning can you hear me yes we can hear you okay uh so, so I'm, I'm i'm based in france and i've um I've registered um, enrolled for online classes but um uh, I mean, would it be possible to just discuss with someone offline uh, how I can manage this? Because, I mean, of, due to work commitments, I travel regularly and uh, also the time difference. So uh, if I could, you know, speak with someone to arrange some sort of system, uh, I would be really grateful. Okay. Um, so, Warren, you're saying that you've enrolled into the online classes, but because of your uh, work and travel, uh, That's right. you... you I might not be able to do, I mean, because I was just looking through the timetable and I might not be able to do all the, all the uh, lessons every week uh, uh, you know, online. Sure, so sure. I might have to switch to e-learning from time. I mean, I'll try as much as possible to maintain the attendance, but there may be some times when it'd be difficult for me and I might not get the 85% required. So if I could speak with someone to arrange that or discuss, uh, that'll be great. If not, I'll just manage somehow to just do it uh, um, uh, e e-learning. Okay. Uh, yes, yes, Warren, thank you. Uh, so I think a good option will be the e-learn because you can do it, you can go through uh, the content in your own convenient time. Uh, yeah. So you can look at your schedule and if you would like to pick some subjects online and some on e-learn right away, yeah. Okay. That would be ideal instead of you know, wanting to switch from online to e-learn midway. So okay. we would suggest that. But yes, you know, you, uh, you please email us and then uh, we'll see how we can, you know, uh, talk to you. That would be great. Thank you very much. Yeah, sure. Thank you, Warren. Thank you. Uh, your success. I think you raised your hand first and uh, I'm asking you last. Sorry about that. But please go ahead, success. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Yeah. Um. Last week, precisely, I tried to use the code so that I can get into the class. But I, because I'm in year three, but I wasn't able to do that. So what I now did, I try year two. When I tried year two, I was little come in but i'm supposed to be in year three so now i was trying to go back through over it again i discovered i have access except a course i was able to log into one of the courses so what do i do and i want to remove myself from year two because i'm third year okay so uh success i would uh, request you to email us uh, at admin Doctor. at upcbiblecollege.org and just list out those specific uh, courses. Okay, so then we'll be able to guide you better. All right, thank you so much. And uh, uh, the, the last one, uh, hello, are you with me? Yeah, a success, uh, please give us a moment. I, I'll just be with you, just one moment.
join the room. In room. Okay, fine. So success, uh, what you could do is in Google Classroom, uh, if yeah. you've joined some courses that you don't want to take, you just yeah. uh, unenroll. So there is an option. You can okay. come out of that class and then you can okay. pick the class which you want. So it's All right. you can do it with a oh. click. Oh, thank you. Um, the yeah. last one, yes. the last one, and year three, course BC301. The mm -hmm. code, the code said you cannot enroll in this class. Can it be ratified? Okay, we'll look into that. BC301. Uh, yes. Okay, so uh, uh, success, these yep. codes have been reset and they will okay. be sent to you. And you can try right. uh, again later, and you'll be able to go right. into the classes. Thank you so much. I'm grateful from Nigeria. Yeah. OK, thank you. Thank you, success. OK, I'm going back to the chat, but I uh, would like to encourage even our on-campus uh, students, if you have any questions, just feel free. You can put up your hand and ask. All right, uh, so again, there's a query about uh, the class codes for one of the courses. Uh, and the uh, pastor's answered here, the updated class codes for BC301 and BC102, uh, they, they've been posted here. So you can use it um, from the chat itself. The new codes are available here for you. Uh, and it'll also be emailed across uh, to the students. So I hope that'll help you get into your classes. Okay, Getrud, uh, you have a new question. Uh, yes, Pastor, I have yes. a question. Yes. Uh, I'll be doing my uh, theology course, three years of uh, e-learning. Mm -hmm. So do I have to enroll one subject at a time or for the semester that I'm taking, all the eight subjects I have to enroll? Hmm. Yes, so uh, get to the best way to to uh, study would be to enroll for all the eight courses at a time. Okay, and okay. Uh, you you can follow the flow, the recommended flow, right? Like the fall semester and then the spring semester, and that way we're kind of building on what we are teaching here as instructor. So you can follow the same flow. However. If you cannot do eight subjects at a time, then it's it's up to you. It's uh, uh, you know up to your discretion. You can take a, a couple of subjects this semester, uh, but then you'll c need to come back again uh, the next fall semester to complete the remaining subjects when they are available. So that's how it would work. Okay? Yeah. Okay. No problem. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. Okay, so Esther has enrolled. Oh, it's able to enroll. She was able to enroll into one of the courses. Uh, yes, uh, Getrude, do you have another question? No, no. I was just. Uh, thank you. Okay, thank you. We have 10 more minutes. Yes, Sean. Timetable has already been emailed to all the students. You haven't received it. OK. Spam. Uh, you can check in the spam folder, Sean, because it's been emailed to all our students. Yes. Any other questions, please?
this is nice. I'm just doing it. Feel comfortable if you have any question. Okay, uh, so if there are no more questions, yes, please. Or is it like uh, it concludes at around 12 o'clock for a day scholar? Yeah, Would be so for a day scholar, uh, again, it, uh, if you're doing all the subjects, the classes will be done with at 12 o'clock. Okay, so the uh, the course lectures, but after that, you know, we have a, a schedule wherein we have um, a supernatural hour, a time of intercession and worship, uh, and then we have some afternoon sessions, practical ministry sessions, which we have here. If the day scholar has time, you are most welcome to join. Uh, so but yeah, it's not optional. like mandatory. It's optional. After twelve, it's is optional. optional. Yeah. Okay. Optional. Okay, any other questions? So while we wait for the questions, I uh, just want to reiterate, we have uh, a weekly mentoring hour uh, that is you know, uh, especially for the online and the e-learn students. So every Thursday, 8 a.m. to 8.50 a.m., uh, we will have this session where our faculty will join. And if you have any questions, you can ask the faculty there. So this will happen every Thursday, uh, starting uh, next Thursday. I think it's uh, August the 10th. Um, uh, and so we encourage all our online and e-learn students, if you could please join, it'll again happen here on the main Audi of Google Classroom. And you have to connect the way you've connected to today's session. Uh, so please join in for the mentoring hour. It'll be really interesting uh, you know, to, to discuss, interact, and learn from each other. OK, Lucy uh, has. A question here, she says, sister, do we have the option to join the afternoon sessions too for online students? Okay. Um, no, sorry, Susie. Uh, Lucy, we don't have uh, that option. Uh, so it's only for the uh, on-campus students, the afternoon sessions. Okay, so. Okay, so Daniel has another question. Do we have any WhatsApp group? Yes, we will create the WhatsApp group for communication and uh, you'll be notified, uh, Daniel. Okay, so we will create them.
through email. Okay. Okay. All right. Fine. Uh, so, Daniel, for communication, I think in the past we've done that, but uh, all official communication will happen via email. So, uh, we will not be creating uh, the WhatsApp group. So, just please note that change. Uh, so, we will not be creating the WhatsApp group. All communication uh, will happen through email. Okay. So, thank you. Okay, noted. Andrew is asking email knowledge. Okay, even the online students will be called for convocation, graduation. Yes, yes, Andrew. Even the online uh, students who have completed uh, their uh, or who've uh, earned their degrees and certificates, they will be invited for our graduation service here. So I think with that, we will close the second session. Uh, and thank you, everyone, for uh, a good time of uh, interaction. But if you still have a question that you have not asked, then please uh, reach out to us. Those who are online, you can email us. Uh, those who are here in person, just meet with us, and you know we can clarify your doubts. Uh, so we will go for a break now, a 10-minute break. Uh, we'll come back uh, to begin uh, our session on laying the axe to the root. Uh, for the in-person students, a hard copy has been given. And we request the online students to please um, download the hard copy, uh, download the uh, uh, PDF that has been posted in the classwork section. So please open that up and then you can follow along uh, with what is being taught here. So thank you. Uh, bye for now. We'll meet in 10 minutes. Thank you.